So I completely forgot about this place. Um, I was using Fire Strike over on the Yaks, which is a pretty big waste. I could have been here getting Rune Kites and Granite Shields and stuff, so I wish I was over here. I probably would have had a few Rune Kites at least by now, which would have um, pretty much doubled my bank, because my bank isn't too too large right now, so hopefully we get some Rune Kites from here on out, though. It's still, like, there's still no one here. I think I've seen um, two people my entire time on uh, these two islands that you unlock with the Fremi Isles. Uh, I saw, yeah, two people and that's it. And so, yeah, it's pretty empty. Woo, it's my first rune item. Yes. Hey guys, so 50 range is done. I did that over at the ice, um, ice, uh, trolls. I didn't really get any more items. Um, it's pretty weird. They should have a really good drop rate on rune, rune kites, uh, rune warhammers granite shields and a bunch of stuff like that. I got one rune warhammer and that's it for rune items, uh, which is too bad, but still something. So, um, yeah, so 50 range. I probably did, I did quite a few kills, over 100 I'm pretty sure, because I also did magic there. And so yeah, now I'm getting my, I'm tanning my leather to get 40 crafting so I can do family, family crest. And then after family crest, it will be uh, getting a D semi and melee training up to I want to get like 80 defense, so I'll be pretty safe and I can go and work on mining and smithing at uh, Motherload Mine. And here we go, we're getting 40 crafting, and now we're on to my next task of Family Crest. And we're finishing Family Crest. I didn't get attacked or anything. It was pretty easy. Only took a little while. Um, but there we go. There is my steel gauntlets. I'm gonna go turn those into goldsmithing gauntlets, and we're set. So I've changed my plans once again. I'm going to probably be going for quests um, just to get those out of the way before I do other stuff. Then if I lose my stats, it doesn't matter because I've already, already done the stuff I need my other stats for. Um, but there is 75 mining, so that's where I'm going to leave off for now. Bam! We finally got a room kite. Like, I have been so dry here. Like, I know I've done these tasks on my main for Slayer on uh, the regular old school. And... The drops are usually pretty good, like one task of like 200 ice trolls. I usually get, you know, three, four shields, two warhammers, granite shield. Like, the drops are really good, so it's crazy. I've killed a few hundred at least, and this is my, I've got one rune warhammer, and this is my first rune kite. I've gotten probably 20 Addy, Addy full helms, so I've killed quite a few, um, and only gotten two rune drops, so it's nice to finally break that dry streak. So, we are at the Warriors Guild for a while, I got up to a Steel Defender, banked some big bones, and now I'm doing Ecto, hopefully, okay, not 43 prayer yet, but next um, couple bones should get me 43 prayer. And here we go, 43 prayer for real this time. Bam! 43 prayer, hopefully I don't have to get it back too many more times. <sighs> yes! Rune Defender! Now on to Dragon! Then I'm out of here, so I got up to 68 defense on my way to the Rune Defender. Uh, we'll see how far I get uh, while trying to get this dragon. There is the Dragon Defender, another thing out of the way, which is nice. Um, it didn't take too long, only a few kills. Uh, I wouldn't have minded if it did take a while, since these do have some nice drops, Rune and Addy items. Uh, but on to the next goal. And a Nature Spirit done. So we're coming up to the end of Haunted Mine. Um, I actually had to kind of do it twice because I went to the boss and I bring range and it didn't work out too well so I had to grab melee um, and then it wasn't too hard. But there's 22k strength experience and salve emmies. So we're fishing here at Shiloh Village. I haven't seen anyone thankfully. There's like no safe spot nearby. So it's kind of risky um, fishing here. I've been playing pretty safe, you know, doing training methods near safe zones. So if I do get attacked, I, it doesn't take long to get to a safe area. Uh, but I'm about to hit 53 fishing, which I think is the highest I need for the quests I'm going to do. So yeah, I'll be done with fishing. Um, unless I die and then I have to come back here. I think I might go and do a little bit of mining, mine some gemstones, also get some vials of water quickly while I'm here. Man, that was pretty funny. Um, while doing dick site, there was these kids that were trying so hard to lure me. Um, there was a guy with like four keys, he was trying to run over to Multi and um, Alcarid. Then there is, uh, then he kept trying to trade me to see how much food I'd have, like he'd have some noob come and attack me. 
try and whittle down my food, and then try and trade me, see how much I have left, and then have like some mage come and attack me. It's pretty funny, like how hard they are trying. They weren't really getting too far though. I have 70 defense, um, so it's pretty hard to hit for like level 40s. Um, but it was pretty fun. Now dig sites should be done right here, and I'm not sure I'm gonna get if I'm gonna get any levels. Where the heck is the? Oh, okay, there he is. Um, I'm already 75 mining, so I don't think it's gonna be a level. So. But it's one more step towards desert treasure. Uh, recently, I was looking, or today, I was looking at the prices of. Okay, cool, 19 herblore. So I was looking at the prices of Mort's Meyer fungus, and they're like 1k each. You can get 1,000 of those an hour if you have um, the right stuff. And one of those things is desert treasure, and then 50 con. So those are the two main goals I'm going to be working on now so I can get to those uh, Mort Meyer fung fungus and make 1 mil an hour. And I'll probably get like five mil or something, do it for like five hours, and then uh, go back to questing. Vampire Slayer done. And Ernest the Chicken done for, I think, five quest points this thing gives me. I don't know, something good like that, <clears throat> which will put me at 65 if it is five. Let's see here. Four, so 64 quest points. Boom, another quest on this one got some, gives some hefty bonus or er, rewards. 5k crafting, 5k smithing. Um, so there we go, 44 crafting and no smithing level, but pretty close to 63. And here is another quest done, 2.4k fishing experience. I am at, I'm chilling in the Shield of Araf, um CC, so I can hopefully find someone for the Heroes quest here soon. Um, but 69 quest points. And here we are coming to the end of another quest, um, Demon Slayer. So I'm just knocking out these free-to-play quests super quick. Um, I think this gives uh, three quest points. All the free-to-play ones give lots, so that's great. And the great dragon has been slain. Uh, so we're about to finish up Dragon Slayer. I gotta take this up to the guy in Edgeville, I think, and then that's pretty much it for this quest. There is another quest done with some juicy experience rewards. Uh, 63 smithing. Um, see if I get 45 crafting. Awesome. I switched my agility protect to crafting until I get 61 in complete lunars. Because uh, crafting is a lot more annoying to train than agility, agility but I do want to have agility as my protect um, long term. But until I finish Lunar, I will be keeping it on crafting.